everyone. We may have a special guest today, and her name is Miss Carly. As you can see, Pip is already here, raring to go. Uh, but she's been wandering around thinking about getting uh, some treats for herself, too. So we'll see what happens there. Uh, today is Monday, April 6th. And it is our, let's see, how many days have we been staying at home? 20, 21, 22. And it's day 23 of us staying in place here at Gretchen's house. Uh, if it's your first time to our show, we of course have a bell on the table. If Pip rings it, he gets a treat. Um, we've got a lot of exciting stuff for you this week, a bunch of new planned segments that we're doing. Pip has worked very hard over the weekend to create some really cool stuff for everybody. And um, a piece of news, we did pretty much get, I think, close to a thousand votes on um, which logo people liked better. Uh, you, did you see it on Facebook? You yes. had to pick between left and right. Uh, and the left won with 58% of the vote. Um, so we're super excited that it was uh, decided and that it wasn't, you know, a 49 to 51%. So it seems to be a little bit of a majority there. Uh, but we're going to go with that one for now, and we'll see what happens next. we got a lot of stuff to figure out for summer, kind of when it's going to start, what we're going to be doing. Um, if we can't do what we normally do, how can we do something different? So if anyone has any ideas, you let us know. All right, and let's get into one of our favorite parts, our Gretchen's Words of Wisdom. Go ahead, Gretchen. Try to be a rainbow in somebody's cloud, and uh, that means that you can actually probably send a card to somebody, Maybe in the hospital, so I'm thinking about you, uh, praying for you, that you'll get well soon. Uh, just to let those people know that there are people out there that um, are thinking about them and praying for them. That they'll all get better and that this will all pass and uh, we will all get back to normal soon. So I just wanted to let you know how to brighten up someone's day. To let them know that uh, we're out there thinking about them. Yeah, and something that we've been doing is we've been writing back to everyone that's been writing to us. Um, and several people have sent us letters saying that they think someone they know would appreciate a note from Pip. And so you're more than welcome to send us something with an address to someone else. Um, we do that all the time. It's, it's no problem at all. And we're here for anybody that needs us, right? So if yes. there's something that you need us to do or you need help with, you let us know, right? As you know, on Mondays, we like to do a Mental Health Monday, so let's see what our friend Theracat has to tell us today. Hi, I'm Pip's pal Theracat. This week, I am back to talk to you about the small changes we can make to our daily lives and how they can be really good for our mental health. Staying at home gives us an opportunity to take care of our bodies and our brains in different ways and with a slower pace than we are regularly used to. Now is a great time to try new activities or do things that we enjoy that we normally just don't have time to do. Maybe some of these suggestions will help give you some ideas. How about playing board games? Creating crafts, such as coloring, just like my friend Gretchen does. Assembling jigsaw puzzles. Curling up with a blanket and a good book. Quietly meditating. Discovering new exercises. Cooking and eating new foods. And always sharing kindness and encouragement with others. Try these or whatever it is that is your favorite things to do around the house. Remember that some days you don't need to feel pressure to do everything or anything. We have no control over what is happening in the world, but we still have control over ourselves. We need to be proud of ourselves for how we handle all the changes in our lives and how we make the best of this unusual time. That's all from Theracat for today. See you next time. Meow. Thank you so much to Theracat and her therapist human. Uh, we really appreciate your words of wisdom in this time of need. Hey, and as you know, we do have a new website called pipsguidetooceancity.com. It is the digital accompaniment to our illustrated guidebook series. This is something that actually isn't 
in um, either book, but is on the list for volume three, which is when you go on vacation, a lot of times you get stressed and it feels like work, right? Mm -hmm. It's like, oh, I have to do this, I have to do that, like, ah, and you're going crazy. And so um, something that I've never done on vacation, but I'm thinking like, wow, that would be a good idea, is get a massage or go to the spa, especially yes. if it's a rainy day. Uh, so we wanted to um, suggest a place to get a massage. And um, of course, we do not take money from anybody uh, for these suggestions. We pick businesses that have believed in us since the beginning. Um, and we like to spread the word. Uh, so we have a little clip, you may have seen this before, of Pip getting a massage at the Bethany Massage and Healing Arts up in Delaware. <laughs> was not licked. Stay healthy, everyone. It was taped. <laughs> okay, so this has two letters in it. Yes, it does. You're excited about this one, aren't you? It says, hi, Pip, Emily, and Gretchen. Holly and I love the morning show and all the things you do to give back to the community and brighten people's days. Holly and I will get started on a list of fun things to do and see in our area in case you ever get to Western New York State and send that to you. We both love your books and can't wait to see what's next. We can't wait to see what's next either, yes. right? We're kind of can't wait. we're kind of at a standstill right now. Um, normally, this is the time of year where we're taking all of the sales that we make in the spring and using that money to um, develop all of our new products for summer. And um, we can't really do that right now because we're, we don't have many sales. Uh, so. We will be on a weird trajectory this year, uh, but we welcome the change and we will figure it out, right? Yes, we Don't will. Don't worry. Um, <clears throat> Pip, hello. Katie says, thank you for the souvenir from Poland with our last order. We received a beautiful pink angel ornament, Holly's favorite color, and love it. Your thoughtfulness for your fans and followers is amazing. Well, there's one thing we like to do, it's shop, right? Yeah. So picking out, those, shop. picking out those souvenirs was fun. <laughs> Stay healthy and safe, and until we see you in person again, we will watch for you online. Heart, Katie. And Katie, you, Katie. And, and Katie included a letter from Holly. Dear Pip the Beach Cat, I met you last summer on the boardwalk. I love you. I had so, 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 so much fun meeting you. Pip, I can't wait to see you again. I wonder how you got your name. Love, Holly. P.S. I'm sorry they took your Ocean City logo down, but I love your new logos. Oh, well, thank Aww. you, Holly. Thank you, Holly. And as we said at the beginning of the show, um, we have pretty much decided on the new logo for um, for the summer. We're super stoked on that. We've got a bunch of sort of artwork in the process behind the scenes. And Holly, who is six, drew Pip on the beach digging for crabs, and he found one. And it looks like this was painted, too. So absolutely beautiful. We'll show that up close for everybody. And something else I want to show you. Um, Holly must have a multicolor colored pencil. Look at that. Yeah. Every word yeah. is a rainbow. That is so beautiful, isn't it? Thank you, Holly. So thank you, Holly. And um, I'm sure you saw already how Pip got his name. We talked about it last week as our question of the day. He got it from Pip the Orphan um, in the Charles Dickens novel, Great Expectations, which I'm sure you will read when you get older. So this letter is from Javier. Dear Pip, how are you? My name is Javier, but you can call me Javi. It's pronounced Javi. All the stuff in the news about the virus makes me anxious, but I try to ignore it. Right as I'm writing, I'm watching a horror movie. Does Pip like horror movies? My mom saw you on Facebook and said that we should write a letter. I've been to Ocean City two times. Do you have any hermit crab pets? I live in Pittsburgh. I am in fifth grade, and I play alto saxophone in my school, and my favorite animals are wombats. No offense to you, Pip. My favorite dog breed is pug. Does Pip like dogs? If he does, does he like pugs? 
I love history. I also like old stuff. So for my birthday, I asked for a typewriter. My brother brought me to the Salvation Army store to look for one. By the way, my brother is 23 and drove me there in his fast car, and I like cars. When we went there, we found an electric typewriter, and I was so excited. Maybe I can write my next letter on it. One more thing I forgot to ask earlier. What's Pip's favorite animal? Sincerely, Hobby. Isn't that so sweet? Aw, thank you, Javi. So, Javi, I, I know at the beginning you said you were very anxious feeling, and that's okay. We're all feeling a little bit anxious, and um, this is a time when I would say that anxiety is allowed, you yes. know? Um, if you were feeling anxious about something that wasn't scary, then maybe that would be a problem, but, you know, feeling anxious during a time like this is the same as feeling grief during a funeral. It is an appropriate emotion, and it's something that we're all working through, and I hope that by being able to write to each other, we're helping with that a little bit. And also with the show, we're just trying to keep everyone's minds off of what's going on. Um, I feel like when I turn on the news, it used to be a plethora of various topics. You know, you had foreign news, you had domestic news, you had, you know, good stories, bad stories. But since we're all stuck in our houses and it's a little bit, you know, nobody can be out doing anything, there's no events happening what the news can coverage is really few and far between, right? Yeah. Um, and so I think that they have programs that they have to fill. You know, they have an hour that they have to fill. And if that's, you know, if there's only one topic they can fill it with, then they're going to do that because what else are they going to do? Be like, well, we're not doing the news today because we can only fill 12 minutes of time, you know? So I do feel like we're going to see as this goes on that, that the news seems very similar every single day. And it's going to become very... Um, we're going to get burnt out from hearing that. It would be like watching, you know, the same episode of a kid's show over and over and over and over and over again. Eventually it gets boring, right? And so I think it's important that we find other things to watch. And But Javi, we feel you. We're all feeling anxious. It's affecting us in strange ways. Um, I was watching CBS this morning today. They had a psychologist on and she said, you know, it's really important to get sleep right now. And I'm like, okay, but our bodies are automatically, without any control from us, making us not sleep, right? Yeah. We're all having sleep issues. As you can see, Gretchen has yawned a hundred times this show. This is the first one that I'm going to let stay in. I'm going to have to edit all the other yawns out. <laughs> but, um, yeah, our sleep is being affected. And I don't think that we can just say, oh, breathe deeper and meditate, and then you'll sleep. It, it goes beyond that. You know, it, this isn't something that can be fixed. It's... It's happening without our own control. Um, that's right, Pip. And so I think that we need to know that, like, things are different. We might not be sleeping. There's a lot of people who have different fears. There are people whose livelihoods are very much on the line. And so we all need to take our own approach to that. And I don't think that we can just have a blanket statement from someone that says, meditate and sleep. But we've got to figure out a way to deal with that. Um, but to answer your questions, Javi, um, I don't know if Pip likes horror movies. The only movies he really likes to watch are movies of birds. Do we have any hermit crab pets? No, we do not. Um, we, we don't normally have any um, sea creatures in our home. Uh, and the other question is, what is Pip's favorite animal? Well, I said that he loves, loves, loves birds because he likes to watch them and chase them. And, that's, and he likes seagulls. Yeah, of course. Um, and then um, I said my favorite animal probably is a chipmunk. I just love little chipmunks. What's your favorite animal? Um, I guess cats and dogs. Yeah? Oh, that's really sweet. Especially German Shepherds. Oh, yeah. And it's been really hard. It's been um, almost five months now um, that we haven't had a dog. So I would recommend sometime soon to please, we got to get a dog. Even Pip said it's time for a dog to bring us some love and joy. And there's an angel that's waiting out there for me that Star has picked for us. Thanks, Mom and Dad. Love you all. Hope to see the dog soon. <laughs> Gretchen has been begging her parents to adopt a new dog for months. So now, uh, Susie, we know you're watching. Yes. You've been publicly told now. To thousands of people. Do you think thousands of people watch this? Yes. Really? Okay. Thousands of people that you need a new dog. Um, I think they're looking, all right? Don't give them too much pressure. And then Javi's last questions and comments. Um, I don't think Pip likes dogs, but he also isn't around them very frequently. So I wouldn't say he hates them, but he protects himself at all costs. So if a dog comes near him, 
he will, you know, hiss or scratch or something like that. Um, but we don't have dogs in my family for him to interact with. Um, and then Javi, I wrote back to you already, but I just want to tell everybody else. I love that you love old stuff because so do I. Um, we will take you to my house and I will show you how much old stuff I have, including the typewriter that I wrote you about that I own. Um, Javi has an electric typewriter. I have an old manual typewriter, an old Underwood typewriter. Um, so I will show that to everybody in a new segment we have called Pips Cribs. Let's go ahead and, and do that now. Why not, right? Yes. everybody, it's me, Pip the Beach Cat, and I'm here on Robin Drive in Ocean City for another episode of PTBC Cribs. Let's knock on this door and see if we can get a tour. Pip, call me before you're doing things like this. I'm in my house slippers. Uh, let me go get changed. Hi, Pip. I heard the nosy Nellies want to see what the inside of our house looks like. So come on, let's show them. We can start over here. We've got some of our beautiful wedding pictures from before you were born. Uh, we did get married in Krakow, Poland. So this is us in the castle's courtyard, which is open to the public. So you just go and, and take your photographer and it's super easy and quick. Um, let's go over to this corner. So as I was saying, to young hobby. I love old stuff just like him and I absolutely love typewriters. So I have over here my Underwood typewriter and it does type. And then up here we have a bunch of collections from over the years when I've traveled. And we of course have our Ocean Gallery Welcome to Pip sign. This is from way back in October of 2018, um, the Crow Art family saw Pip's Halloween costumes on the beach and they invited us to the gallery and said he was the winner of the costume contest of the year in Ocean City and that's when we first met and became very good friends. Um, so come on, we'll go to another corner. Uh, not to surprise you here, but we just, uh, it's a small place, so this won't take long. <laughs> this is our other corner. And up here, I have the cutest little cats that were made out of clay and we bought in Krakow at the Cat Cafe years and years ago. Up top, I have two little black cats that um, a friend of ours that I was teaching English to, she gave them to me uh, when I left Poland to come back to America. And as you can see, everything in here, all the furniture, the chairs, the sofas, things like that, it is all from estate sales. So I think this sofa was $15. Um, and it's absolutely gorgeous, I love it. Um, one of my favorite pieces. This armchair is one of my favorites. Uh, we have, um, some other things around the house that are all uh, all gotten from estate sales, thrift stores, things like that. So let's go ahead and I'll show you a couple more things. All right, and we haven't gotten many questions in our episodes lately, other than the ones that come from fan mail. So I don't necessarily have a question of the day, but what I will say is that next Saturday, which is April 11th, yes. April 11th we are going to do a special live show um, that is going to be that question and answer uh, segment so we will be live with Pip on Saturday April 11th yeah and you can ask him whatever you want live and we will answer it um, his dad will probably be there, Gretchen might be there, so we can all answer your questions. So get your questions ready for that, and I thought that it would be a fun way to add something to our Saturdays since we're not usually with you guys. So we haven't decided on a time yet, but please let us know what time you would prefer it to be, and we will go from there. Um, all right, Gretchen, do you have a joke for us today? Yes, I do. What do you got? Where does a cat go when it loses its tail? Where does it go? A retail store. <laughs> <laughs> Do you hear that, Pip? If you lose your tail, you go to a retail store. Isn't that cute? Yeah? Oh, thank you. I love when you high-five my glasses. It's so sweet. Do you have anything else? No, I don't. Okay, everyone, we thank you for joining us for another episode of Pip's Morning Show. I'm Emily, Pip's mom. I'm Gretchen Cooper, Pip's assistant. This is Pip the Beach Cat. And... Stay Pipsy! All right, should we see if Carly wants some treats? Yeah. Carly, shh, come here. Come here. You could have come up here this whole time, you know, but you took a nap. I know you want some more. I'm relaxed, though. Relax. Carly, come on.
here. Carly, you wanna come? Come on, come on. Here, reach out a piece for her to come get. Look, come in. Carly, maybe next time. All right, good show. Ready? Yep. Okay. Ooh, my knees really hurt when I sit like this for a long time.